What's up guys, I'm here at Great Falls Park, just about 30 minutes outside of Washington, D.C. And if you've never been out here, I really recommend it. It's a beautiful spot, only about a half hour drive from the city. You can hike, there are great walking trails, you can bike, of course, and uh, rent a kayak, canoe, all that good stuff. Highly recommend checking it out. All right, so I'm down here, I get all my gear set up, and of course, it just starts pouring rain. Classic, of course. But you know what, we're gonna soldier on and uh, let's get to it. So my goal here today is to show you up close what it's like to use one of these older digital digital backs for, uh, for photography. And specifically, I'm looking at a phase one P25 plus back. This is about 13 years old now. Uh, it came out in 2007. And uh, believe it or not, back in the day, these things were like $20,000 cutting edge technology. This was it. Uh, if you wanted to shoot with one of your older film cameras, this was the only way to do it, was using one of these digital backs. So what an era we live in now where all of the electronics from back in the day are just super cheap and uh, you're able to pick one of these up now for about $2,000. In this case, I'm hooked up to a Hasselblad 500 uh, CM getting just poured on. I'm, I'm really sorry, buddy. Um, it's probably really bad for uh, <laughs> for the back, especially. Because this digital back has no way of communicating directly in terms of contact points with the film camera itself, you need a sync cable. So one of these sync cables will do. And the first thing you're gonna do is to connect uh, one side of it to the lens. There we go, locks in like that. And then the other end you're gonna take and you're going to put it into the digital back here. Back, that way the lens is essentially telling the digital back when to when it's gonna um, take the shot. So essentially prepping the digital back to get ready for the photo. We're looking at um, the scene here with the bridge and the water and it's kind of cool. At least we got these raindrops to kind of make the scene a little bit more interesting. Um, so let's just go to it. So we are going to power on the back. And as you can see here, we only have four buttons. That's it. This is like as simple as it gets. Really, these backs are all about the film camera itself, the settings you dial in there. Um, and then you set the ISO here. And that's it. Um, very simple. It's kind of the way photography should be, in my opinion, opinion but I'm kind of old school. Um, so in this case, we're gonna set uh, ISO 50 because we're on a tripod and we wanna have as little noise as possible. Hit enter there. And white balance, we're gonna go ahead and set it to auto because it's, again, it's pouring rain. I don't feel like dealing with dialing that in uh, manually. So we're just gonna trust the auto ISO on our digital back there. Okay, so uh, for this scene here, um, we're gonna go ahead and dial in our shutter speed and aperture right here on the lens. In this case, I've got it set to one eighth of a second and F16, because I want everything to be nice and sharp. That's it, I already went ahead and cocked the uh, shutter there. Last thing we're gonna do is pop up this little button here, which actually just flips that mirror inside there um, so that you don't have any kind of shake, mirror shake when you press the shutter. We go ahead and press it satisfying click sound and then hopefully we get a photo okay there we go <laughs> uh i say hopefully because sometimes you do that whole process and the photo just doesn't pop up again this technology 13 years old is pretty outdated it feels like you're using something from the the uh 19th century but what are you gonna do all right and there we go there we have our image now, the first thing you're going to notice uh, is that the quality of the, the um, screen here is really low. It's super low, super low. It looks like a phone from like 2006. Uh, you know, that's one of the downsides, but hey, what are you going to do? All right, so there we go. We got our photo of the bridge and the water. And that's about it. All right, another really cool thing I wanna show you about these older digital backs is you have the ability to actually rotate the back to either a 
uh, landscape, which I had in this in this case here, or you can actually flip it on its side and shoot vertically, which I don't know if I can do with one hand. Okay, there we go. So now we're set up in vertical mode and the camera's yelling at me because I turned, uh, rotated it without turning it off, I'm sorry. Um, but just the ability to be able to shoot uh, vertically without having to rotate the whole camera on its side is such a cool feature. And uh, if you've done a lot of shoots before, you know what I'm talking about. No more doing this. Set it to vertical mode, shoot your verticals, set it back to landscape, shoot your landscapes. So cool.